Hey class, welcome to my TED talk. So today's topic, we are going to be talking about swimming. Fun fact about me is I am a swimming instructor at Little Swimmers. Shout out to my place. That's my forever, my home. Um, so I didn't want to talk about a little bit about that, how swimming is important and how it benefits life and you know your body and things like that and how it's for all ages so first things first i want to talk about how swimming is a good all-around activity because it keeps your heart rate up um take some of the impact stress off of your body also builds some endurance muscle strength and cardiovascular fitness also helps maintain a healthy weight healthy heart and lungs because that's very good with the different things that you'll be doing um it also teaches us about water safety that's the most important key especially as a swimming instructor. Um, if taught earlier in life, it helps with the development of um, different physical skills, such as hand and eye coordination and muscle tone as well. Um, swimming is for all ages. Since I work now, I see smallest as smallest is six months, as much as, for example, my boss taught a 69 year old woman. That is crazy. It's crazy how even older in life, um, they wanna be taught to swim. So I think that's pretty cool. The youngest that I've done is six months. And then you have different ages. Mostly the age right now, since um, drowning is actually on the top five of um, the deaths, like a death cause for kids. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's number two. But that's very important when it comes to water safety. You know, God forbid your kid falls in the water. You never want to risk that. So the most popular ages would be from ages one to three. Because you never know. You could be looking one way and boom, the kid falls. So that's our number one priority when it comes to us and when I especially when I speak to parents. Um, so what are the basic skills of swimming? Um, there's five important keys for every swimmer. So I have the first one would be the breathing technique. The second one is gliding with your face in the water. Um, third one is how to coordinate various body parts during movement. Fourth one is stroke styles and swimming techniques. And then the fifth one would be diving. So now I wanted to change the topic in regards to the different styles of swimming. So there's five different styles slash techniques for swimming. So we have the freestyle, which is the most basic one and the fastest and the most typical one. Then we have backstroke, then we have breaststroke, then butterfly, and then side stroke. So I'm going to talk about each and every one uh, and the different style, like how you use it in the water. So freestyle is also known as a front crawl. So it's the fastest and most efficient of the swimming strokes used in competitions. Like you would see most of people, most of um, in the Olympics, like Michael Phelps, he usually does freestyle. Um, the freestyle stroke is a swim in a horizontal position with the body facing down. The body rolls from one side to the other, always turning to the side of the arm that is currently pulling in the water. Um, the head remains in a neutral position, face down, except when you're breathing, because your head, when you put your arm pulling, you do the opposite and you go like this and you breathe from there. Um, then uh, to enable breathing, the body rolls a little bit further to the side during the arm recovery. And then the head also turns to the side until the mouth is above the water surface. Then we have backstroke. Then the second technique, um, would be backstroke. So that would be a swimming stroke executed on your back, of course and usually consisting of alternating circular arm pulls and a flutter kick. Then we have my favorite technique would be the breaststroke. So that's a swimming stroke executed in a prone position by coordinating a kick in which the legs are brought forward with your knees together, like towards your chest. And then the feet are turned outward and whipped back with a glide and a backward sweeping movement of the arms. So the best way I say that, well, especially when it comes to kids, when I have the older kids, of course, because that's a lot easier for them to comprehend, um, would be like frog legs. So you have your legs tucked in and then you do like two circular motions with your knees. So you go bring your legs in and then out, in and out. And then I have them either holding the wall and then practicing with that. And then arms is just like I say, like if you're cooking a pot with two and then you're just swimming one like that. Like if you're pushing through the water, if that makes sense in a way. Mm -hmm. 
Then the other technique that is a lot harder to teach, this is actually like, we have like 10 major rules. We bring kids like certificates. So the certificate that's, that would be actually out of the 10, that would be the last one because it's the most difficult to learn. And it's like a huge process. So butterflies are swimming, swam on the chest with both arms moving forward symmetrically accompanied by the butterfly kick, also known as the dolphin kick. Um, it's the newest swimming style swimming competition. The fun fact, they actually um, first swam it in 1933 and originating it out of the breaststroke. Um, so it's like a dolphin kick, but you're pushing up your body out of the water. So you're swimming and then the water you push out with your chest. You go and you push out. Um, then... Then last, but certainly not least, we have the side stroke. So that's a swimming stroke which is executed on the side and which the arms are swept in separate strokes towards the feet and downward and this, your legs do like a scissor kick. So your legs are going back and forth like a scissor. And then whichever arm you want to use, I usually use the one that's most dominant for like for kids. Um, and you just scoop the water like boosh, boosh. Like if I'm tilted in a way swimming, I go and I scoop the water while you're doing the scissor kicks. Um, when it comes to teaching kids, I do know it's a, it's a long process. You need to have a lot of patience, but you also have to have fun with it as well. I know when it comes to communicating with parents and doing with kids, you're a stranger, you're an instructor, you know, you're dealing with kids every day, every minute of the day. So you're dealing with different personalities and different kids. So you just have to get accustomed to that as well. You gotta know your person, you gotta know who you're dealing with first, and then you have fun with it. Um, so how do you become a good swimmer? Um, as with any sport, the best way is to improve in practice. So with the kids, it's a routine. So they do it Monday through Friday for 30 minutes. So it's a routine for them every day, whether we do the kicks, whether we just swim, whether we dive, whether we do different techniques. Um, also hard work, you know, but especially with the little ones, it's different. But with the bigger ones, you see them come out and they're focusing on what we're saying and they're focused, but they have fun with it at the same time. Um, taking swimming lessons is a very great place to start, regardless of your age or skill level. I've taught 14-year-olds um, how to swim and they had knew nothing and I had to start from scratch. So that's a bit of a challenge, trust me. But it's a cool way to learn and, you know, have and you grow the patience for it as well, like I said before. And it's very fun. I love kids. So dealing with that is a very um, great way. And most importantly, spend as much time as you can in the water, too. There could be kids that are terrified of the water. And I've had experiences with parents um, and they come and tell me, Lexi, I put the bathing suit on the child and they already know they're coming to swimming and they're pouring their eyes out, crying that they don't want to go. By the end of the week that kid is a totally different person. You know why? I have the patience, I'm having fun with them, and most importantly, I'm getting to know them. I'm getting to know my people. And they would tell me, I'm putting the bathing suit on, they're like, we're gonna go see Coach Lexi? What? I wanna go, I'm excited. But when swimming? What time is swimming? Is it now? Is it later? You know, things like that. You know all those kids' questions, like, are we there yet? Type of, type of thing so but i wanted to thank you so much for listening to my ted talk about swimming and all my little bullet points of what i spoke about so i hope you guys have a great day and i hope you guys enjoyed my ted talk